Rahim. Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? And in our lesson today, we are going to study unit eight, lesson five. On the students book, page number 65. Yesterday, we started the grammar lesson, and it was about model verbs using can, could, be able to for ability, and using must and have to, uh, should for uh, advice or strong obligation, uh, strong advice and obligation necessity. Uh, have to, don't have to, etc. And we st we are, today we are going to study uh, negative adjectives. Before we study the lesson, let's remind you of the uh, I wish uh, grammar lesson here. Now, uh, choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Please read the sentence and choose. So uh, we studied that there are uh, different tenses after I wish according to the wish. Is it in the present or the past or the future? Let's see who can answer number one. Shadi Zakaria. My father wished he had met the manager when he came yesterday. Very good. So what tense is it uh, had met Shadi? Perfect. Past perfect because you have the word yesterday here and the verb is in the past wished. Thank you, Shadi. Ahmed Karam. I wish I could get high marks this year. Very good. So Ahmed Karam chose uh, could uh, for uh, ability in the in the future. I could. Thank you. Ahmed Jamal Wardani. I wish I had known how to see it. So, so right here, had known this is past perfect because the verb I wished here is in the past symbol. Thank you. Ahmed Jamal Abukhair. They will wish it uh, can be warmer. Can be. We don't use Ahmed. We don't use can or will after wish. We usually use the past. Would be. Would be. Yes. So you can say could be or would be. So the right answer would be. So after I wish, we use the past. We don't use can or will. We use could or would. Thank you. Amr Hamdi. I wish I studied hard at school. Yes, I studied here. You will use the past symbol. But uh, if you have if you have a word in the past symbol, you have to use the past perfect. So I wish I had I you can say I wish I had studied hard at school when I was young. OK, when I was young here refers to the past. But uh, here you don't have a different time. So you use the present, uh, the present wish We use past symbol. Thank you, Omar. OK, now today let's learn the new vocabulary in lesson four and five and then do some exercise. Please listen to the new word and uh, know its meaning. Then let's do some exercises. Bifocal. 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 Here, this, uh, this, these glasses are bifocal. Bifocal means you uh, they have two distances here, one near and one uh, far or distance. So bifocal having two different focal lenses, uh, one for the distance or the far, the farthest place, and one for near vision. Bifocal. Frequent. Frequent. Make this happen. Frequent. Frequent happening or doing something often. So frequent means often. Frequent. Instigate. Instigate. Instigate is a verb to bring about or initiate an action or event. So instigate means bring about or cause something to happen. Cause something to happen. Instigate. Legible. 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 Look at this handwriting. It's nice. It's uh, very beautiful. I can read it. It's very clear. It's legible. Legible means describing the handwriting or the print clear enough to read. Is it, uh, is it uh, easy to read? Yes, it's very easy. It's very clear. So this handwriting is legible and the opposite is illegible. You had uh, you have to use what uh, prefix IL 
legible, illegible. Obedient. 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 Obedient is an adjective. The verb obey, 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 obeying commands. Look at the girl. The girl is very obedient. She obeys her mother's commands. She listens to her advice. She never says no. She is very obedient. Patient. 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 Able to wait without becoming annoyed or anxious. Here, look at the, this old man. He's fishing. Catching fish uh, teaches him to be patient. Patient is an adjective. And the noun is patience. The opposite is impatient. Patient, impatient. Reputation. 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 Means fame. The beliefs or opinions that are generally held about someone or something, someone or something, etc. So what do you think of uh, this uh, place? It has a good reputation. It is very known that it's a good place. What do you think of this man? Oh, he has a nice reputation or a good reputation. He's very honest. He's very kind, helpful. Reputation means fame. Reputation. Software. Software. Software is a program used by a computer. So the computer has software and hardware. The mobile phone, the laptop has software and hardware. Software means computer programs. Software. Spot. Spot. Let's travel to a nice spot. A spot means a place. A spot. A particular space or point. Place. Spot. So these are the new words we started today. Let's learn them and use them in sentence here. Bifocal, bifocal. Her eyes looked huge behind her bifocal lenses. Frequent, frequent. Dust storms are frequent in Kuwait during summer. Frequent, it means happen, it happens often, it often happens. Instigate, instigate. The naughty, the naughty student instigates making chaos in class. He brings about making chaos in class. He causes uh, chaos and trouble in class. Legible, legible. The only thing legible on the torn envelope was the written address. Legible, it means something that can be uh, clear to be read. Obedient. He was very respectful at home and obedient to his parents. Obedient is an adjective. The opposite, disobedient. Patient. Be patient and the situation may resolve itself. Patient. Don't be annoyed. Relax. Be quiet. Patient. The opposite, impatient. Reputation. Fame. He gained a reputation as being a defender of human rights. He gained a reputation. He is very well known. He has a, a good fame. Software, the software enables you to access the internet in seconds. Software, computer programs. A spot means a particular place or point. The hotel is beautifully located in a quiet spot near the river, in a quiet place near the river. Now let's do the exercise. Now, fill in the space with the most suitable words from the list, or blue. Read the six words, and you've got five sentences. Please, I'll give you two minutes to read and fill in. Who can answer these questions? Ahbad Hussein Altras. The restaurant has a, has an uh, for serving excellent food at responsible prices. At reasonable prices, yes. Re reputation. 
Very good, Ahmed. Thank you so much. Reputation. Okay, let's see. Ahmed Samir. Students are expected to be quiet and uh, obedient. Obedient in the classroom. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, Hamad Khalid. Hamad Khalid. Yes, Hamad Khalid, number three. Hamad Khalid Al Hafi. Yes, Hamad, number three. Khalid Walid. Khalid Walid. Salim Nabil. Salim. Um, uh, yes, yes, teacher. Uh, we are cont uh, constantly uh, upgrading our software to meet customers' needs. Excellent. Thank you, Salim. Okay, let's see. Shadi. Okay, Shadi Zakaria. She enjoyed the frequent visits of her grandchildren. Excellent. Frequent. Good. Number five, Abdurrahman Hassan. Abdurrahman Hassan. I have uh, got the highest marks because there uh, were no mistakes and uh, my uh, hand there were writing was uh, legible. Legible, very good, Abdurrahman. Thank you. So legible it means clear to be read. Thank you so much. Now here, uh, open your sales book on lesson five. Here vocabulary, negative adjectives. Note prefixes are often used to give a negative meaning to an adjective. For example, lucky. The opposite is unlucky. Lucky, unlucky. So we use un here for uh, giving a negative meaning to an adjective. Do you know any more negative adjectives which start with un? Do you know any more adjectives which start with un? Give me other examples for adjectives and the opposite or the negative meaning. Ahmed Karam. Namaste. Give me an adjective and it's opposite or it's a negative meaning with un. unfortunately, unfortunately. Yes, fortunately, unfortunately. Excellent, Ahmed. Thank you. Omar Hamdi. Uh, employment, unemployment. Very good. Uh, yes. Uh, fortunately is an adverb. Uh, employment is a noun. The opposite is unemployment. But we are talking about adjectives, not nouns or adverbs. So you give me, you give a noun, you give an adverb. For example, here, I'll give you some other or more examples here. Happy, unhappy, able, unable, acceptable, unacceptable, asked, unasked, available, unavailable, aware, unaware. Equal, unequal, helpful, unhelpful, friendly, unfriendly, usual, unusual, interesting, uninteresting, fair, unfair, healthy, unhealthy, believable, unbelievable, comfortable, uncomfortable. So these are negative adjectives which start with un. Okay, so you have to study them. Now, what are the negative forms of the following adjectives? The notes in the box here in question C may help you. Here, look at these adjectives in the list. Formal, frequent, friendly, honest, legal, legible, obedient, patient, polite, regular, relevant, tidy. What are the negative forms of these adjectives? This useful or this box here, these notes in the box can help you. How do you know negative adjectives prefix? We use un is the most common negative uh, prefix. Dil aksar and the un. And this is used with some adjectives. Some adjectives you use this. Like honest, dishonest. We use l. We use l is used with some adjectives beginning with l. 
for example legal illegal legible eligible m is used with some adjectives beginning with p or m so we have adjectives that begin with p what's the opposite for patient impatient polite implied er er is used with some adjectives beginning with r so uh, if you have an adjective that starts with r the negative adjective meaning is er we have here regular relevant and in is used with a few adjectives a few adjectives uh, the negative meaning is using the prefix n now what about formal what's the opposite for formal uh, let's see let's see what's the opposite for formal abdulhamid muhammad atiyah yes ready or friendly and what do you mean here? Here, friendly, unfriendly, tidy, yes. untidy. Yes, I agree. What about the word, the adjective formal? Formal. What uh, for formal? Oh, informal. Informal. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Uh, frequent, frequent. Abdullah Bassam. Abdullah Bassam Al Rashidi. Abdullah Bassam al Rashidi. What's Abdullah the opposite Abdullah. for frequent? Abdullah. For what? For frequent. Frequent. What's the opposite? Yes, Ala Atif. Ala Atif. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Frequent. What's the opposite for frequent? Uh, yes. Omar Hamdi. Omar Hamdi. Uh, frequent. Uh, in, infrequent. Infrequent. Very good. Thank you. Faris Samir. Huh? Friendly. Faris. Uh, uh, unfriendly. Unfriendly, very good. Luai, yes, Luai. Luai, honest. What's the opposite for uh, honest? Uh, honest? Yes. Unhonest. Yes, no. Honest, what's the opposite for honest? Muhammad Ahmad Yes, honest, yes, honest, yes, sir. Thank you, Luai. Dishonest. This, this honest. Okay, legal. Yes, Muhammad Ahmad Al Hasib. Legal. Illegal. Very good. Legal, illegal. Muhammad Hamuda. Legible. Unlegible. Unlegible? No. Here, if you notice here, Muhammad, look at the these notes here. L Eligible. is used with some adjectives beginning with L. If you have an adjective beginning with L, the opposite is L. Yes, Muhammad. Muhammad Hamouda. Uh, legible. Eligible. Eligible. Good. Obedient. Muhammad Musaad. Obedient. Yes, Muhammad. What's the opposite for obedient? Muhammad Musaad. Mansour Turkey. Mansour Turkey. Hani. Yes, Hani. Obedient. What's the opposite for obedient? Hani. Disobedient. Uh, uh, Disobedient. Very good. Haytham. Patient. Haytham. What's the opposite for patient? Haytham. Yes. Patient, uh, impatient. Unpatient? Impatient. Impatient. Good, Haytham. Here, look at the notes here, Haytham. M is used for some adjectives beginning with P or M. So or you M. have here patient. Yes, Haytham. Impatient. 
am patient. Again, Haytham. M. M. I am. Am patient. Good, Haytham. Yusuf. Nasser. Yusuf Khalaf. Yes, Yusuf Khalaf. Uh, polite. Yusuf Khalaf. Polite. Yusuf Khalaf. Shlahi. Polite. What's the opposite? Al Saudi. Wujud. Wujud. Al Saudi. What's the opposite for patient? Shun Saudi. What's the opposite for patient? What's the opposite uh, for patient? Yes. And he saw the good man. You are impatient. You are right. I am. Thank you, Yusuf. Impatient. Welcome, welcome. Polite, polite. What about blight, Yusuf? Yusuf, blight. Yusuf, what's the opposite? Hello, Saudi. Hello. What's the opposite for blight? I'm bullied. I'm bullied. I'm bullied. I'm blight. I'm blight. Yes. Again, Yusuf? I'm blight. I'm blight. Thank you, Yusuf. Okay, let's revise the, the adjectives and their orders. Friendly, unfriendly, tidy, untidy, honest, dishonest, obedient, dis uh, obedient, legal, illegal, legible, illegible, patient, impatient, light, impolite, regular, irregular, relevant, irrelevant, formal, informal, frequent, infrequent. Now let's do the next exercise here. What are you going to do? Yes. Wait a minute, Khaled. Turn off your mic, Khaled. Uh, check your negative adjectives in the dictionary or the students' book. Glossary here. You are going to negate. You are going to negate these adjectives at by using some prefixes. Then uh, complete this sentence with the negative form of some adjectives from uh, question B. So you are going to change them into their opposite or into their negative meaning. And then complete them or complete these sentences. Okay. Khaled Walid, yes, Khaled. Number one. Ayo says, uh, my uh, my room is a bit uh, I wish I had a uh, robot to clean up uh, the mess. My room. Uh, is a bit uh, um, tidy, uh, uh, untidy. Uh, um, I wish uh, had a, uh, a robot to clean up uh, the mess. Thank you, Khaled. Good, thank you. Let's see, Ahmed Jamal Wardani. Two. It is uh, illegal to drive faster than the speed limit. Is it legal? Illegal. Yes, very good. It's illegal. Thank you. Okay, Ahmad Jamal of Khir. Uh, children should learn to do what their parents tell them. Uh, this point is the children. The children should be. Obedient. What's the opposite for obedient? Disobedient. Disobedient. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. Ahmad Jamal Abu Khair. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's move to Ahmad Altras. Altras. People who live in cities often have a reputation for being unfriendly, but I always get on very well with them. Un unfriendly. Very good. So friendly and the opposite is unfriendly. Very good. Ahmad Samir. Uh, I can't read your writing. It is completely. Relevant. Uh, uh, Relevant, relevant, munasib. The opposite is irrelevant. When you talk about handwriting, tidy. The handwriting is is what? Tidy. No. 
For we say the handwriting is legible or was opposed for legible. Illegible. Yes, very good. So the opposite for legible, it means illegible. Okay, Ahmed? Okay. Legible, illegible. Thank you so much. Here. Now let's answer this question. What should parents say to their disobedient children? Who can answer? What should parents say to their disobedient children? Ahmed Karam. Uh, teacher, please again, what's the meaning for obedient? Obedient it means you obey. You obey the rules, you obey commands. Obey, obedient, mutia, obey, obedient. And disobedient is the opposite, is the negative meaning. Parents should say to their disobedient children. Here, they don't uh, listen okay. to their advice. Okay. They don't obey rules. They don't obey their commands. So what should the parents say to uh, them? Ahmed? They, will, uh, they should advise them to be uh, patient and uh, obedient. Very good. They should advise them or they should, uh, they should punish them. They should uh, ask them to respect their parents, to obey rules. OK, in what situations do you get impatient? Impatient, it means you get annoyed, you get nervous. In what situations do you get impatient? Explain. In what situation? Shadi. Uh, when I say uh, when I see a crazy boy. When I see a crazy boy, OK, or when you are in a crowd, uh, when you are uh, driving your car in a crowded street, uh, when there is a traffic jam, uh, when I what? When I lose a mark in my exam, I get impatient. I get nervous, upset, annoyed. OK, what should companies do with dishonest employees? What should companies do with dishonest employees? Yes, Amar, Hamdi. Uh, companies uh, should punish dishonest employees and search for honest employees. Very good. Companies should uh, punish dishonest employees and look for dishonest people or dishonest employees. Uh, they should dismiss them. They should fire them dismiss or fire. They should ask them to leave the work. OK, here you are going to listen, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Here the work is not work, the listening is not working. Gold coated nano shells are being developed. We will be able to buy smart clothes. According to scientists, we will be able to see these with our eyes closed. Here, these are some things which are quoted about about what about uh, modern inventions or future inventions. Now, you've got here uh, some adjectives, some adjectives, and we are going to negate them. Negative prefixes before adjectives. We have un, we have this, we have er. We have L, M, N. Now let's see. Responsible. Responsible. What's up for responsible? Khaz Walid. Yes, Khalid Walid. Samani? Yes. What's up for responsible? Responsible, uh, uh, it not has. Uh... Uh, it must has uh, a Walid. What's the negative? Uh, and neg a prefix. Uh, 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 ir uh, irresponsible. Responsible? Irresponsible. Irresponsible. Very good, Khaled. Faris Amir. Faris Amir. Happy. Unhappy. Good. Muhammad Ahmed Al Hasib. Possible. Impossible. Impossible. Good. Salim Nabil. Logical. Illogical. Illogical. Al Wardani. Ahmad Jamal Wardani. Mature or mature? Uh, 
You have here an adjective beginning with M. M, you put I M. Mature. M mature. M mature. Yes, M mature or M mature. Both are right. Yes, ultras. Respectful. Respectful. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Very good. Reasonable. Hamad Hamuda. Reasonable. Unreasonable. Er or un? Yes. Un, un. Unreasonable. Let's check the answer here. Okay. Let's see the opposites. Responsible, irresponsible, happy, unhappy, possible, impossible, logical, illogical, mature, immature, respectful, disrespectful, reasonable, unreasonable. Okay, let's have more adjectives and uh, use the prefix to um, uh, have a negative meaning for them. Okay, connected. What's the opposite for connect? Here, uh, if you are connecting the internet here, and you you what you press on, what's the opposite for connect? Yes, Omar Hamdi. Uh, disconnect. Disconnected. Very good. Yes. Uh, Ahmed Samir, legal. Legal. Illegal. Illegal. Very good. Hamad Khalid, practical. Hamad Khalid, practical. You have P. You have P. You put, what do you put here? What's the opposite for practical? Eager start. Practical. Practical. You put I am impractical, practical, impractical. Okay. And next, Abdurrahman Hassan, active. What's the opposite for active? active. Here, I'm, I'm an active online. What's the opposite? You are not online. Unactive? Unactive or inactive? I in. Inactive. Okay, let's see it. Abdurrahman Ghanab, relevant. Irrelevant. 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 Ir, you Ir. put IR. Irrelevant. All right. Uh, efficient. Abdullah Bassam, Bassam, efficient. What's the opposite? Alaya Sad. Abdullah, what's the opposite for efficient? Uh, you, you, put, uh, you, you put you in. Efficient, un, you, yes, Abdullah. Uh, Unefficient. Again, Abdullah. Unefficient, yes. Very good. Ala Atif. Educated. What's the opposite for educated? You put un. Uh, un uneducated. 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 Let's check them here. Connected, disconnected, legal. Illegal, practical, unpractical, unpractical, uh, active, inactive, relevant, irrelevant, efficient, inefficient, inefficient, educated, uneducated. So you missed here too. Practical, it's not the opposite for impractical, you say unpractical. Uh, and we have efficient, inefficient, inefficient, okay? We have more adjectives. Yes, Luay, necessary. What's the opposite for necessary? Unnecessary. Unnecessary, very good. Yes, let's see. Luay, Muhammad Hamouda, agreeable. Agree? Unagreeable. This, Muhammad, agreeable? Disagree. Yes, Muhammad. Disagreeable. Disagreeable, good. Muhammad Musad, legible. What's the opposite? Muhammad Musad. Muhammad Musad Rifat. Legible. Mansur Turkey. Legible. Mansur Turkey. Han Sayyid. 
What's the opposite for eligible? Yeah. Yes, Mansoor. What's the opposite for eligible? Sad ma'anaha, sad. The opposite, the negative meaning. The negative meaning. Han Sayyid. No, I L. Han Sayyid. Ayo, Ustaz. What's the opposite for eligible? Eligible. Eligible. Haytham, regular. Haytham, regular. Haytham, regular. What's the opposite? Haytham Nasser. Yusuf Khalaf. Regular. What's the opposite? Haytham. What's the opposite for regular? Haytham. Haytham again, regular. Irregular. Irregular, yes. Regular, irregular. Okay, Yusuf Khalaf. Perfect. Thank you, Yusuf. What's the opposite? Yusuf, what's the opposite for perfect? Imperfect. Imperfect. Yes, good news. Okay, Shadi. Usable. What's the opposite for usable? Unusable. Unusable. Very good. Kabibul Ahmad Karam. Yes, teacher. What's the opposite for Kabibul? This Kabibul. In. In Kabibul. Incapable or uh, uh, incapable? Yes, incapable. Thank you so much. Now, would you like to play games? Would you like to play games? Now we are going to have a game concerning the negative prefix. You've got. I'll give you two chances to play. I did for Okay. Now you are going to choose one of the balloons. You are going to choose one of the balloons to give the negative meaning for the word. Be ready. Look at the picture here. Look at the picture and read the sentence. Use the opposite uh, here, the negative prefix. My parents are always fighting. They can be so mature. What's the opposite for mature? This in M R L N. Let's see. Khalid Walid, mature. What's the opposite? I think for Stine Khaled, choose one alone. Khaled. Uh, uh, immature. Immature. Good, Khaled. Thank you so much. Okay, Salim, Nabil. Salim, look at the picture. Read the sentence. This book is so interesting. Nothing really exciting happens. The opposite for interesting. Salim. Uh, 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 Sorry. Uninteresting. Uninteresting. Good. Thank you, Salim. Let's move to the third one. He always feels so comfortable when speaking in public. What's the opposite for comfortable? Ahmed Jamal Wardani. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yes. Good. Thank you so much. Next. I don't like him. He is so honest when playing cards. The opposite for honest. Yes, alter us. Honest. Dishonest. Dishonest. Good, alter us. Thank you. Uh, it's very responsible of you to drive when you are drunk. The opposite for responsible. Muhammad Abhasib. Irresponsible. Er? Is this one? Uh, no. Uh, yes, yes, irresponsible. The yellow one or the green one? The uh, orange one? Which uh, color? This responsible? Sorry, responsible. Yes, Muhammad Hasib. What's the opposite for responsible? This? Irresponsible. Which one? Which color? Uh, yellow. The yellow. Yes, good. Thank you. 
Okay, I feel so secure because I didn't study force test. Secure. What's the opposite for secure? Faris. Secure. Um, choose uh, one of the colors. Secure. Sorry? This is secure? No. Another one? Faris. Choose another one. Faris, Samir, secure. What's the opposite for secure? Uh, insecure. Insecure. Yes, good. Okay. You can't fish here. It's legal. What's the opposite for legal? Omar Hamdi, legal. No fishing. Indeed. Legal. Legal. Very good, Omar. Thank you so much. I am totally capable of doing everything by, by myself. Capable. Yes, Ahmad Karam. What's the opposite for capable? Uh, uncapable. Un? No. Yes, Ahmad, give me another one. Uh, capable. This capable. No. Let's see, Shadi. What's the opposite for capable, Shadi? Incapable. And yes, good. So, Ahmed Karam, what's the opposite for capable? Incapable. Okay, very good. He is uh, getting very patient. What's the opposite for patient? Khalid Walid, patient. Uh, 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 unpatient. Unpatient. No. Another one, Khalid. Impatient, your says impatient. In, impatient? M, 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 your says M. M. Yes, good, Khalid Walid. Thank you. Okay, Hani, this is certainly a very usual case. What's the opposite for usual? Usual. Unusual. Unusual. Yes, good, Khalid. Uh, Hani, thank you. Ahmed Samir, Adil. To think you can do what you want at your age is really logical. What's the opposite for logical, Ahmed Samir? To think uh, you can do what you want uh, at your age is really uh, illogical. N I don't know. L. No. I nah. L. L. Illogical. Yes, good. Thank you. Yes, Ala Atif. She has a rational and rational fear of spiders. Rational. Ala Atif. What's the opposite? Irrational. Irrational. Un? No. Try again. Ar Ar yellow, yellow. Sorry? Yellow, yellow. Irrational. Yellow. Irrational. Yes. Good, Ala. Okay, Muhammad Hamouda. Donkeys can be such stubborn yes. and obedient animals. What's the opposite for obedient? Obedient. Muhammad. Raise your voice, please. Unobedient. Unobedient. No. Again, Muhammad Hamouda. Disobedient. Disobedient. Yes, good. Okay. He was very polite on the phone. What's the opposite for polite? Uh, Abdurrahman Al Ghanam. Polite. Uh, M. M. Blight. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Eating that much cake is healthy. What's the opposite for healthy? Let's see. Abdullah Bassam. Healthy. What's the opposite for healthy? Let's see. Shadi. Healthy. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Okay, let's stop here. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed teaching the lesson. You were very good today. Thank you so much.